for many of us, thinking about experiences related to inclusive and special education in Yukon is a challenge because we've had so many experiences. Indeed, some of us could fill a book telling about our experiences. The goal of this project is to tap into the wealth of those experiences, to benefit from your voice and your wisdom. To do that, we are inviting folks to think of those individual experiences that have been especially important to them, that have had a real impact in forming their thoughts about education in Yukon. The questionnaire in this project does this by asking folks to think of just one experience in response to a prompting question, and then to provide a short description of that experience, saying in a few sentences what happened, and then going on to answer a few questions about that one experience. It generally takes no more than about 10 or 15 minutes to complete. For example, imagine we were exploring how Yukoners cope with long winters. Using this kind of questionnaire, we would begin by inviting folks to share an experience they have had living through a Yukon winter. It might begin with a prompting question like this one. A friend from southern Canada is considering applying for a job in Yukon, but they are worried about the long winters. What experience might you share with your friend to help them be less or more worried about Yukon winters? And of course, once again, many of us could write a book about Yukon winters, the joys and the challenges, but the questionnaire is only asking for one experience, one anecdote that was important and that you might share with your friend. Please note, there are no right or wrong, no better or worse answers, and usually a few sentences are all that are needed. So here is one experience that I might share. But what if more than one meaningful experience comes to mind? That is not a problem with this kind of study. Unlike typical surveys, you are welcome to share as many experiences as you like, one at a time, via the questionnaire. So if one experience is not enough to capture all that comes to mind when you think of inclusive and special education in Yukon, we invite you to share as many as you like. As more folks share their many experiences, rich insights emerge, building a foundation for positive change and improvements to inclusive and special education in Yukon, a foundation built on the actual stories and wisdom of all who participate. Thank you. We hope you will add your voice.